Hello, YouTube. We're back for another video today. And today we will be unbagging what I got from the flea market today. So let's go ahead and get this out of the unboxing basket as I guess we will call it and as you can see we have quite the stuff now for context I will link in the description a video that me and my mom did unboxing the other stuff from our flea market bargain hunting haul whatever the hell you want to call it and um yeah this is specifically what i got from the flea market booth that has the anime figures in the glass cases it's besides an exit or not besides, but it's close to one, which I'm specifying this because someone has asked me what, like, where I keep on getting this stuff, and that's the best that I can explain it because I don't know if they got a company, brand, whatever name, but all I know is they got anime stuff, and they got quite the stuff, so actually let's not dump this out, that might be a poor idea, um, let's just keep this, um, over here, okay, let's see, I will unbag this in the order that I grabbed it, <laughs> just hide my arm while I grab this stuff, so okay, first, as I usually do, I looked at the, um, let me think here, the three dollar, wait, are they three? Wait, no, it's, I don't remember how much they are, all I know is that it's the cheap ones in that bin sitting on top of a case, which... I do have to specify I'm not being paid to say any of this shit. This is my honest opinion. I don't know. I guess I'm going to be reviewing this stuff because I don't got anything better to do. So, first thing that I grabbed was this figure of a character that I have no clue who it is. But I'm really digging this gothic dress. Let me just get the camera to focus in on this. Very, very, very cool. It, uh, let's get this out of here. Okay, so. Let's see, what's, uh, what do we got here? Uh, we got a figure. Oh my. Alright, let's... Yeah, honestly though, I just I just like this outfit, and I think in total what I paid for. Actually, hold on, I don't know how much I paid, but yes, um, camera focus. Very, 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 very lovely. Okay, let's see. Can I pull this apart? Um. Huh. Well, I, in fact, cannot pull that apart. Which, most of the figures I grab out of that pin, normally I can because they're, like, blind bag and blind box figures and such that were probably bought in bulk for cheap off of yahoo.jp, but okay. Now let's see what we got in here, which I had been thinking of getting this one for a bit because it had been sitting around in there for a bit. 
My only problem is, is that these don't have stands, and I don't see a, well, wait, I do see a hole for a stand, but since this does not come with a stand, I was a bit iffy about it, but then I thought, eh, hell. <laughs> Which, if you guys are wondering why I sound so ill in videos that I've done within the past couple days and today it's because um <coughs> I have um I have something okay I just have strep I'm, I'll be fine bro but like it's okay <laughs> I went to the doc Oops, I went to the doctor, so I'm not going to die from it. Um, yeah, let's see what we got here first. Um, don't know this character. Feel like maybe I might recognize them, but... You know, this is such a damn, like, generic schoolgirl design that, like... I just do not recognize it. And also, like, I'm sorry, why is the skirt genuinely so short? Like, come on, really? I mean, hey, I don't got a problem with it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, uh, I don't want the YouTube TOS to strike me down. Uh, let's see what we got cooking in this one here. Okay, we got yet another character design I feel like that I may or may not recognize, but it is just so generic that I have, like, no clue. Like, yeah, y'all, like, you can drop me a comment down below, but, like, I don't know, like, honestly, though, I... Like, the style on this one kind of be looking like, um, oh, what's that one? Uh, Lucky Star. And this one here kind of looks like, oh, what's that one? Shit. Uh, K on I think it's called. Which, I've never watched that. But, um, I mean, I've watched Lucky Star actually a couple times because I'm a bit of a loser. And, um, I mean, Lucky Star, you know, okay, you know. I mean, I'm okay with Lucky Star, okay? Now, let's see what we got in here next. We got DVDs, of course. So, let's see. Get my scissors. And open these up. So we got a barcode. Um, no, we got um, um, like I think uh, uh, Kalido Star. Um, honestly, this could either be a. Uh, idol anime or um magic girl anime or both not too sure but that's the magic of it i buy these three dollar dvds and don't know what the hell i'm jumping into and i'm absolutely fine with that so get this out of um cage which <laughs> I love plastic wrap, personally, because it is just, it's absolute waste of plastic, you know, it's like killing our environment and stuff, and yeah, I'm just absolutely digging it, <laughs> and I especially dig stuff that's new, you know, versus buying stuff that's used. 
because you know I love wasting stuff. Um. Okay. Well, something just popped out of there. What the heck? Oh. I am um, not really too sure what I'm looking at here, but. You know, it is okay. I, I don't know. Don't know what I bought. <laughs> um. Oh, there is another thing up here. Because apparently we need so much thief protection. Because people just gonna be stealing this shit. Okay, you know, don't do this at home, trying to get stickers off like this. But whenever you've got gloves, and there's just like a, just a sticker that will not get off, then sometimes you have to resort to the scissors. Which, you know, honestly though, I do prefer used stuff, like... If you are unable to detect sarcasm, don't worry, I'm joking. By, as you can tell by the amount of thrift store hauls and shit that has happened on my channel. You can tell that I'm quite the connoisseur of the used, the pre-owned, and... Everything else that's lovely in the world. Um, yeah, I think removing that sticker, though, probably did cause a lot of damage. Which is one reason why I'm against the excessive plastic use that is used solely for, like, theft reduction. Because, y'all, let's be real here, like... People are just gonna steal whatever, honestly. Oh my gosh, like... Damn, how old is this? 2004? Y'all, we got the good stuff here. Back whenever you had to, like, mail shit in. Like... Man, I, I know a bunch of my used mangas. They always got them things in the back where, like, you know, you rip it out and you can order, like, the magazines and shit. Like, you know, this is the real stuff. I don't got no use for this, but it's cool. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Not too sure, but <laughs> you know what? I like whenever they put stuff in DVDs. Oh, I think it's like a character guide. Oh, character profiles. Which, they look cute, so... I am excited to watch this. I've had a bad habit of um, buying DVDs and then not watching them, but this one, it will be watched after I get done watching all the other DVDs that I've bought. <laughs> Which, if you haven't seen many of my videos that I've been in, I'm quite the DVD liker because I hate digital media. And yeah, that is a reflective surface, so I better close this very quickly. Okay, next, we've got... Oh wait, that's not what I picked out next, we're doing this in order. Okay. Um. I'm not struck. Apple seed. You know what? I got no clue about this one either, but um, it looked quite interesting. Very intriguing, and um, apparently this is rated R, which my age is not R, so I'm not old enough to watch this. Okay, we've got yet another one of these things we're mailing in. Um, this time, though, it is a survey. Let's see, does this have a date on it? Um, 
now, but let's see, do we have a date on the back? Um, hold on, we gotta get this. Yeah, we got 2004, and 2004 seems to be my lucky number today. Okay, thank the Lord up above that this is not reflective. But yeah, um, this will be watched sometime. Okay, let's see this. Uh, the Galaxy Railways. Okay. Um, let's see. Date. I mean... Okay, hold on. I mean, we got the old Funimation logo on there. So, like, you know, I'm sure this is very recent. And I mean, this one, look, this case looks used as good. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I can't, I can't find a date on there. Let's just open this up. You know, I don't know why DVDs would have like a reflective surface. Like, there's no point in that. <laughs> Um, Claremont County Public Library. Damn, this used to be at a library. But I mean, that must have been a cool library, though. Um, okay, um, okay, we got 2003 on here, so I didn't win the lottery, but I was close. Oh uh, yeah, in total, all of that was um sixteen dollars, which I'd say I got good bargain, you know, on that, which I paid with my own cash out of my own wallet. <laughs> um, all right, so. This next stuff, I'm just going to have to dump out of here. Oh, let's get that figure out of the way. Um, oh, well, I just showed my arm. Whoops. Damn it, my attempts at not showing my arm in video seems to always fail. And I hope that you guys will just ignore that, because humbly, I find it a little embarrassing. But, and that is all in this bag, you can see, in which you will not see my arm in there, but, yeah, let's hope none of these has got any damn mirror effects. All right, so, huh? Okay, they, they had free candy, so you know I had to get some, even though I'm not a big candy fan. You know, I like free stuff. So let's just get this in a reasonable fashion here. All oh, right, um. Okay, so first off, these here, these will make sense once I unbag what is in these four bags here, which also got free Pokemon cards because I spent over, I think it was like $20, so yeah, I love free stuff, but okay, let's unbag this. In no order, you know, oh my gosh, a blind bag. Let's see what's in our first blind bag here. All right, what have we got? We got a anime girl. Yeah, mind you, I paid $40 for um, these 
three things there. Oh, this is my stylus that I use for whenever I have to focus the phone camera. But yeah, we got those three. And then four figures. I paid f yeah, $40, which <laughs> honestly, I mean, you know, that's like $10 per figure. You know, not even including these. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. Even if I don't know the characters. Because I'm a sucker for these noodle stopper figures. And I do actually use them. And since they was in dire need of a home, I got a deal on them. Since I do like noodle stopper figures. And because... Me and that guy are friends, basically, so, yeah. But, yeah, I'd say that this one, I do like. I was also given a cup of noodles because that was being used to display these. Uh, let's see, does... Actually, you know, I don't know if this would work. You know, I know in every video, I, I test to try and see if this would actually, you know, like, stop your noodles from jumping out or whatever, but I don't know. This one, you know, see, the thing is, like, there's, like, no, like, I don't know, if you put her here... I feel like there'd be the risk of, like, her falling in into the noodles. And that would not be good for her health. So, yeah, I don't know. This one is gonna have to get an F grade in terms of actually stopping the noodles. But, I don't think... I mean, don't, don't harp on me if I'm wrong, but... I don't think that this is from the specific brand of really any specific brand of um, figures specifically meant for noodle stopping. Those might just be shelf decorators. But yeah, so. Okay, there was actually two in that bag, so. I got five figures for $40. Hey, so you know what? That's okay. Alright, so... Whoops. Um, you did not see that. Um, this one here... We also have, in which, honestly... I do dig the design of this one. Now, let's see. Can she... No, she, in fact, cannot stop the noodles either. Um... Specifically because of the angle that her legs are at here, she just cannot. So, whoops. Um, I mean, again, that that's okay, because, I mean, they got, you know, they got their little chairs here. So, that's fine by me, but... I'm just saying, though, that I think I'm having my doubts that these are noodle stopper figures. I think they're shelf sitters, which that's okay, but yeah, oh, I think this was, um, well, um, you guys did not see that. Um, okay, I think that's hers. I don't know what anime they're from, so don't, um, jump to slaughter me. But, um, yeah, we've got another figure here, which this was the one that was sitting, like, on display on top of these noodles here. So, this one does, in fact, work. As a noodle stopper, which she's not a part of this set here that um, sits on the chairs there, but she does work 
for stopping noodles. Let's see what we've got in this one here. Oh my gosh, I wonder what we have. Alright, we've got yet another one of the ones that was sitting there. Which, I don't know, this one looks like she might be able to stop noodles, but, hmm, I don't know, let's see, can she stop the noodles? Um, hmm, P probably not, because, again, the angle of her legs here means that she can't sit upright, so then she might fall over, might fall down, and that would not be good for her sanity, so... Oops. Don't trip my arm. Okay. Whoops. Um. Okay, whoops. Um, sometimes I just cannot get anything right. And you know what, to all you other people who just cannot get anything right today, um, I support you, because I just cannot either. Alright, so let's see here. Um, trying to get them all situated in which, um, not a part of the unboxing, but... In a previous video, in which I will link below for your all's viewing sake, I think I did unbox this for YouTube. 99% sure, but... Yep, in a previous video, don't worry, I still have her in her full glory. But she was a part of this set. Which, if you're wondering why I only bought the one... It's because I know this character because of my girlfriend. Her name's Ray. Go subscribe to her channel. But, um, yeah, that's where I know this girl from. And, yeah, that's why I got her, which, I don't know. Can she sit on the noodles? I, actually, I think she can. I don't... I haven't checked, but, um, I'm pretty sure she can. So, now she is reunited with all of her friends. I'm sure they're all very joyous. I mean, I don't know if they're, like, friends. To me, they kind of, um, they kind of all look like girlfriends more. So, hooray for polyamory and let's unbag this last one here which is a um chair oh my gosh actually no wait it is a girl which I do not know where she's from but <laughs> You know, I am digging this design, though, like, honestly. Which. Oh, well. Actually. Hmm. I'm kind of questioning if she's a part of that little bunch there. But I'm not very sure because her design looks like something that looks like their designs, but also I have no clue about this anime or series, so I could be just awfully wrong. But I mean, I'm like, I'm like also like digging this pose too. Let me, let me get a, get the camera to focus here. Yes, yeah, so, um, I like it very much. Let's see if she can stop the noodles. Now, I think she might be able to, but 
Let's see. Um. Hmm. I mean. Um. I don't know. I think this is one that I'd have to try out for myself because I have no clue. But. Yeah, let's just put everyone in there. Um, my damn rug under this blanket. <laughs> um, oh yeah, let's put her on the chair. Now this chair probably did not come with the figure. Actually, she fits really well in it, so... I might be wrong on that. <laughs> Maybe she did come with this. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. But, yeah, I'd say for $40 for, for like, for six figures and, eh. Wait, no, no, no. Why am I counting her? Okay, um, for one, two, three, four, five, like, for five figures, you know, like, I'd say, you know, that's a win, you know, um, guy gets $40, I get five figures for myself, so, that's good, and last but not least, I will unpack these, Unpack, unbox, I'm not sure, but um, I will slice them open. I used to be a big Pokemon collector back in like fourth grade, whenever like Pokemon EXE was like the shit. But like honestly, like after that, bro, after Sun and Moon, like, like Pokemon was already kind of falling off, but I think after that point, they just really fell off, so, like, I haven't bothered with them since. Like, I quit collecting Pokemon. I probably got thousands of damn cards, but, yeah, let's see what we got here. Um, honestly, man, I feel so old. I feel, like, absolutely out of the loop right now just looking at these. Like, I know what this one is. I don't know what that is. I, I got no clue what that is. Like, yeah, good grief. I'm supposed to be like 17, but man, I'm feeling just old. Like, completely just out of the loop. Let's see what we got with this one. Honestly, not too sure what I'll do with these. If I ever do find my old Pokemon cards, I might just put them with those. But, you know, if I don't find them in, like, the next year or so, I'll just give them to my niece because I think she likes Pokemon. I'm actually not too sure, but... Yeah, let's see what we got here. If my gloves will cooperate. Um, a Pikachu. Um... Yeah, I'm quite scared. I thought this was supposed to be the, the spooky pack. But, you know, I guess you can't go wrong with Pikachu. Uh, we got a... Thing. You know, the, the glitters. Ooh. Um. Yeah, no clue who that Pokemon is, honestly. Um. I might... Let me think here. Hold up. Um, yeah, I don't think I know who this Pokemon is. But you know what? For free... It is okay. You know, free stuff is cool stuff. But, um... Yeah, if you guys like this video, um, give me a like. Uh, give me a subscriber. And... Give me a comment down below if you are, um, very joyous about the absolute bargains that you have came across today. And you, 
you know, you have came across, you know, you might not have paid for this stuff, but by you watching my video, um, you have done so much for me. Totally. And, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.